Recently, I got two comments on one of my recent YouTube videos. One by So It Goes Cal34 and Hendrick Solo Wine Club. And they're both asking whether you can add jump links to MailChimp. So in this video here, it shows you how to add jump links to MailChimp that take you to a web page and a certain section of a web page. But those guys want to know whether you can have them within the email to jump to certain parts of emails. And the answer is yes, you can. So here we're in MailChimp, and all you have to do is find a spot where you want to jump to. So I'm going to have right here, I'm going to drag a code block into there, and I'm going to put some HTML code in here. It's the same code as from that video. This is how you create an anchor link. I'm going to call this bottom, just for lack of a better term. I'm going to add a line break which may or may not be necessary depending on your email client, but some will want you to have that, others don't. Just adds a little bit of extra space. So now we have that code there. And now we can go up to the top, and let's say this was a really long email, and you had a menu for the email. We're gonna add another HTML code widget, and now we're gonna manually make a list. We're gonna make an unordered list so it's not numbered, and then we add a list item. I like to do the HTML code first, and then fill it in. So this is how I make an unordered list. Pretty basic stuff. Call that link one and link two and link three. Have to work with the spacing and, and padding and stuff to make it aligned to where we want it. But this is essentially how you add a list to anywhere, including an email. So now for the link, we're gonna have to manually add the link itself because doing the, the link adder in MailChimp doesn't work. So let's go href in front of link one open and close quotations, and then close the link forward slash A by using this tag right here. And here, now we're gonna put hashtag bottom. And then click on, I don't wanna exit, I just wanna save it. Okay, it's saved. Send test, there we go. Here's our MailChimp test, and there's a link. If I click right here, watch what happens. Boop, to the bottom of the email where we put the tag. So the tag we added is right up here. So when we click on that, it goes right to that spot. And that's how we can add links to MailChimp emails. It's a little bit manual and there's some HTML code involved. And I have another YouTube channel that's focused on HTML code, CSS code, and JavaScript code. I'll link to that in the description down below. There's a lot of really helpful stuff on that channel, including how to do this. And I also have a ConvertKit account. This is where I'm sending my WordPress as a business newsletter from. If you wanna join up for that, it's totally free. I'll link to the spot where you can sign up for that in the description down below as well. And I send these out a couple times a week and it's just great content about WordPress as a business and trying to earn a living using WordPress. So in here, it's a little bit different. It's easier, in fact. So if we go down to the bottom, let's go right here. Let's type forward slash uh, HTML, add HTML block. And we do the same thing we did in MailChimp. So you get to see it again. Open a tag, add name equals, open and close quotes, close that tag. This time we're gonna try without the BR, to see if it works without the BR in here. We're gonna put bottom in for the name as well. Save, so there's our HTML tag. That's where the link is gonna to jump to. Uh, let's add a table of contents. Try to make it as close to the other one as we can. And you'll see how it's easier in ConvertKit to do this. I'm going to tell you why you might want to switch to ConvertKit in a little bit. I'll tell you why I switched to it. Well, actually, that's not true. How I, why I tried it out in the first place, and now I've upgraded to a paid account. But the free account is amazing, is, is my point. I'll show you that in a minute. So uh, link one, click on the link icon. And here we can type in hashtag bottom apply. It's not giving us any flack about not being a real link. So it's way easier in that regard. You don't have to do any HTML. Well, I guess you do this really simple bit of HTML right here for the link. But to create the actual clickable link, you don't have to. So let's preview the email, let's send the test. Here's our test email, here are our links. If I click on there, boom, we're at the bottom. And that's how you make anchor links. And unfortunately, anchor links in emails do not work in mobile. I haven't found a way around that yet. If I do, I'll make another video about it. For now, sign up for this newsletter, because it's great. Link in the description down below. As for the, the free accounts, if you look at the pricing for MailChimp, for example, you can have 500 contacts and send up to 6,000 emails every month for 27 bucks. Okay, that's great. Uh, for premium, you can have 10,000 contacts, 
sent 150,000 emails for seven, oh, 700, for $480 a month. Now, one of the reasons you want to check out ConvertKit is because they recently just added the newsletter plan, which is basically the same as the entry level free plan for uh, MailChimp, where you can send emails, but you can't do a whole lot of automating. You can do one automation and one email sequence on this plan. You can also do all this stuff here. And most importantly, you'll notice this is for up to 10,000 subscribers and unlimited broadcast emails. Over here, for 10,000 subscribers and 150,000 emails, not unlimited, 150,000 emails is almost $500. So ConvertKit over here, having introduced this newsletter plan, it could be a bit of a game changer for them, honestly. And if you want to try it out, there's a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you sign up for the free one, obviously I don't get any commission for that. But if you end up upgrading in the future because you love ConvertKit, I get a commission for that. And I appreciate if you go through that link because it helps me keep making these videos. And I recently moved to ConvertKit because I wanted to try out the newsletter plan uh, because it just it seems too good to be true. But it it's not too good to be true. And once the free trial ended, I'd upgrade to creator because I'm beyond the subscriber limit. Uh, but either way, I think ConvertKit's great, and that's why I stuck with it. One of the greatest options in ConvertKit, I'll show you right now, actually. While I have you, I'll show you, is we can add snippets. And snippets are basically reusable content. So I created this one very recently for a live workshop I'm thinking of holding. You saw how easy that was to add to the email. It's just a live or sorry a, a pre-created snippet that I can just add in really quickly and you can make as many snippets as you want even in the free plan doesn't specifically say snippets here but uh, I'm fairly certain it's on the free plan as well and that's a great feature it's one of the reasons I love ConvertKit there's so many other great features too anyhow the point of this video was to show you how to make jump links in MailChimp and I showed you ConvertKit and it works a little differently in both and all the links I referenced in this video are down below, so check them out.